My name is Pastor Ikechuku Chinedun, and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we shall be engaging in night prayers for protection. Night prayers for protection. If you are new to this channel, I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel. It's a powerful prayer channel where you can build your prayer life on a daily basis. By the special grace of God, we engage in different prayer videos every day to make sure that there is no dull moment in your spiritual life. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification that you see on your screen, as you see it on your screen, and keep abreast with our latest prayer videos. One thing is guaranteed. Every prayer we pray together here, God of heaven shall answer in the name of Jesus. God bless you. So, like I said earlier, our prayer topic for today is night prayers for protection. Night prayers for protection. Why night prayers? Why not morning prayer or afternoon prayer? Why night prayers? It's important for you to know that the night hour is the most spiritually sensitive hour of the day. The night hour is the most spiritually sensitive hour of the day. When the devil comes to cause havoc, he comes in the night. When the evil world wants to cause havoc, they come in the night. The night hour is when destinies are manipulated, when destinies are exchanged, and when destinies are destroyed. Matthew chapter 13, verse 25. You see that parable Jesus talk. He said, but while men slept, Matthew 13, 35. He said, but while men slept, his enemy came and so tars among the wheat and went his way. Why men slept? Why men slept? When you spend the night sleeping all the time, the enemy can easily manipulate your destiny. If you have ever encountered witches and wizards, they always attack in the night. If you have ever en encountered occultic men, they always attack in the night. In the night. In the night. That is why some people call it ungodly hours of the day. Ungodly hours of the day. So, the same way, if you must wage effective spiritual warfare, you must engage in the night hours. In the night hours. You need to do something in your life. You need to change something in your life. You need to see results in your life. You must engage in the night hours. When you sleep all the time, even in the day and in the night, you can sleep away your destiny. But that shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Only believers who dare to keep watch at night can overcome the devil and all his evil plans. God called prayer men and women watchmen. He said, I've set watchmen by your walls day and night. I've set watchmen by your walls day and night. They are prayers, are prayer people, are watch people. They call them watchmen and women. That's why Jesus said, watch and pray. To watch means to stay on guard at night. To stay on guard at night and pray. And pray. And pray. A demon is oppressing you. Just do a midnight prayer. Engage in a night prayer. Backed up with scriptures and begin to curse that devil. You are going for an interview. You sleep through the night. No. You wake up in the midnight and you begin to take charge of the environment. You begin to take charge of the environment. As I go for this interview, I take charge. Every eye that see me shall favor me. Everyone that see me shall favor me. You have been oppressed by witches and wizards. Man, you take advantage of the night hour. The night hour. The night hour. This night prayers for protection is a powerful night prayer to defend you from every attack. And assaults of the devil and his agents. Listen to me. Every midnight, that is where demons and witches and wizards gather to decide your destiny. Every midnight, while men sleep, that is where witches and wizards gather to begin to manipulate destinies. As you saw in Matthew 13 35, while men slept, the enemy came and began to sow tars in the wheat. 
The wheat was good during the day. All through the day it was okay. But at the night hour, the enemy began to sow illegal things in it. Now, if there was a watchman, that enemy could not have penetrated. So the only way to counter the forces of darkness is to engage in prayers of the night. Is to engage in night prayers. Night prayers. When men are sleeping and demons are walking, you get up in the night and you begin to send it back to center. You begin to send their arrows back to them. You begin to counter whatever they are doing against you. You begin to scatter it by fire. You begin to scatter it by fire. You begin to scatter it by fire. Listen to me. When night prayers is your thing, no Satan can manipulate you. No Satan. You cannot compare a Christian that pray in the night and the one that doesn't. You can't compare them. One is going to be in charge while the other will be wobbling. But you shall not wobble spiritually in the name of Jesus. You shall not wobble spiritually in the name of Jesus. This night prayer is a prayer that will empower you to destroy every demonic activity taking place in your life. Many of you, you are passing through unexplainable events. Strange order of things manipulating your life up and down. You cannot explain. Things are working for others, but when it comes to your turn, things just blocks. Things just block. These are manipulations of darkness. And the only way to overcome them is to take advantage of the night season. Wake up in the night. 12 a.m., 2 a.m., 1 a.m., 3 a.m. Barada go shagaba. Begin to counter those forces. Begin to counter those forces. I'm telling you what I do. <laughs> I counter them at night. Samande Kopo Paniakadoshka. Any demonic organization fighting against my destiny, I scatter you by fire. Any demonic enchantment, demonic divination, every evil alteration against my life and destiny, I scatter you by fire. Rigadoshka Panakazuzo, I pray in the night hours. The same with you. <laughs> you can't be snoring every night and expect things to change in your life. No, you can't. In the, the atmosphere of the night is calm. So the power of God flows. It flows. It flows. It flows. Do you notice in Exodus 12 that it was in the night that the angel of death that God sent destroyed every firstborn of Egypt? Do you notice that in the days of Hezekiah, it was in the night that an angel slew over 160 something thousand soldiers? Do you notice that it happened in the night? Because it is in the night that spiritual warfare takes place. If you don't pray in the night, you lose the warfare. But when you engage in that night prayers, you win the warfare because you activate your own forces. You activate your own forces. You activate your own forces. There are people that I'm talking to you now during the day that they sleep. They spend their time sleeping because they know they will operate at night. They know they will operate at night. So you as a child of God, you don't sleep. Don't spend all your night sleeping. Wake up and pray your way out of demonic oppression. Pray your way out of satanic manipulation. Pray your way to your next levels in the mighty name of Jesus. As we engage this night prayers for protection today, every evil conspiracy against your destiny shall scatter by fire in Jesus' name. It shall scatter by fire in Jesus' name. I encourage you to engage this prayer by faith now. As we're about to pray now, I encourage you to engage it by faith because your change has come. Your time of change has come. Enough is enough is enough. The devil will no longer manipulate your destiny. Your change has come in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you set to pray right now? Are you set to pray right now? Lift up your hands and begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, we thank you. For we know that this prayer shall be answered. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We glorify your name. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the mighty in battle. You are the ancient of days. Lord, we appreciate you. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Call him sweet name. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. You are greater than the greatest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are bigger than the biggest. You are better than the best. Lord, we appreciate you. Father, we bless your name. King of kings will adore you. Lord, we bless your name. Father, we magnify you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. In Jesus' name, we are giving thanks. Amen. Now, prayer one. Pray with me. Oh, Lord, I thank you for your goodness, mercy, 
and protection over my life and that of my family. Begin to appreciate the Lord for his goodness and his mercy and his protection over your life and family. Begin to appreciate him. Father, I thank you. Psalm 92 verse 1 says it's a good thing to give God thanks. Father, I thank you for your goodness, for your mercy, for your protection over my life and family. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I appreciate you for your goodness, for your mercy, for your protection over my life and my family. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise for your goodness, for your mercy, for your protection over my life, over my family. I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise for your goodness, for your mercy, for your protection over my life and my family. Lord, I give you praise for your goodness, for your mercy, for your protection over my life and my family. Lord, I give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Number two. Oh Lord, I come against anything that will bring sadness to me and my family members before the day breaks in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Father, I come against anything that will bring sadness and sorrow to me and my family members before the day breaks. In the name of Jesus, I come against. I come against anything that will bring sadness to me during the day. Anything that will bring sadness to me during the day, I come against it. For myself, I come against her. For my family, I come against her. In the name of Jesus, anything that will bring sorrow to me, anything that will bring sadness to me, anything that will bring sorrow to my family members, anything that will bring sadness to my family members, I can't tie it now. I can't tie it this night. I can't tie it this night. I can't tie it this night. In the name of Jesus, any arrow of sorrow, any arrow of sadness, any arrow of mourning, any arrow of crying, I can't tie it this night. I can't tie it this night. I can't tie it this night. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Number three. Oh Lord, let your pillar of fire guide me this night. Shielding me from every evil of darkness in the name of Jesus. Let me pray that prayer. Lord, let your pillar of fire guide me this night. Shielding me from every evil of darkness in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer right now. Oh God, let your pillar of fire guide me this night. Let your pillar of fire guide me this night. Shielding me from every attack of darkness, from every evil of darkness. Let your pillar of fire shield me. Let it shield my family. Let it shield my children. Let your pillar of fire. Let it shield me. Let it shield my family. Let it shield my children. Let your pillar of fire. Let it shield me. Let it shield my family. Let it shield my children. In the name of Jesus, let your pillar of fire shield me. Let it shield me from every evil attack of darkness. From every evil attack of darkness. From every evil attack of darkness. Rikata zozo. Remagadesh kata. Ezuzu prenagade. Rigadama katolia. Ezuzu katande. Let your power, let your fire shield me. Let your fire shield me. Let your fire shield me. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Pray, pray, pray. Oh Lord, Every satanic nightmares or evil dream is put to stop this night. A lot of people, your their destiny has been manipulated through dreams. Manipulated through dreams. There are some people that every time they dream, they must give them food to eat and they keep falling sick. There are some people, they see themselves having sex in the dream. There are some people, all manner of satanic manipulation. All manner of satanic manipulation. But tonight, it will stop in the name of Jesus I said, oh Lord, every satanic nightmare or evil dream is put to a stop this night in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, Father, every satanic dream, every evil dream, every nightmare of the devil is put to stop this night in the name of Jesus. Every satanic dream, every nightmare of the devil, every evil nightmare is put to stop, is put to stop, is put to stop, is put to stop, is put to stop this night in the name of Jesus. Every evil dream, every satanic nightmare, manipulating my life, manipulating my destiny. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer for yourself. It's put to a stop this night. It's put to a stop this night. It's put to a stop this night. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Number six. Number six. I read, number five rather. I rebuke every 
pestilence that roams in the darkness in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Psalm 91, the Lord shall shield us from the pestilence that roams in darkness. Now, prayer, prayer, I rebuke every pestilence that roams in darkness in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you now. I rebuke you now. Every pestilence that roams in darkness, I rebuke you now. I rebuke you now. Every pestilence that roams in darkness, I rebuke you over my life. I rebuke you over my family. Regarda my sozo. I pray like a Zeketerende, Ezobranande, Obregado Shagade, Zamande Lebrondo, Zitas, Zitas, Sakiba Haya, Leko Shagada, Etusia Katande, every pestilence that roams in darkness, I destroy you, I rebuke you. Get out of my family, get out of my life, get out of my front. In the name of Jesus, every evil pestilence that roams in darkness, I cast you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Number six, O oh Lord. From this night, release overflowing blessings that will be more than enough for this family in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer for your family. Oh Lord, from this night, release overflowing blessings that will be more than enough for this family in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, from this night, from this night, release overwhelming blessings. Release overwhelming blessings. Overwhelming blessings for my family. Overwhelming blessings for my family. From this night, release overwhelming blessings. Overwhelming blessings for my family. Plenty blessings from this night in the name of Jesus. Regede, regede, uzaze, uzaze kate, uzaze kate, makaragade, makaragade. From this night, release overwhelming blessings, overflowing blessings that will be more than enough for my family. In the name of Jesus, e pregadosa, zomarande, zekatende, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are still praying. <laughs> you have, we are still praying. This is warfare prayer. Warfare night prayers. Mazuzi Kipraniya. The devil is in trouble. Number seven. Every evil movement of witches and wizards against any member of my family is cancelled by fire. In the name of Jesus, are you ready to pray a prayer? Every evil movement of witches and wizards against any member of my family is cancelled by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil movement of witches and wizards against my family members, I scatter you by fire. I cancel you by fire. I cancel you by fire. I cancel you by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil movement of witches, every evil movement of wizard, I cancel you by fire. I scatter you every movement of witches and wizards around about my family. I consume you by fire. I consume you by fire. I consume you by fire. Every activity of witches and wizards roaming around my family, roaming around my children, roaming around my life, the life of my wife. I scatter you by fire. I scatter you by fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Number eight. Father, deliver me and my household from any sin of the night. Deliver me and my household from any sin of the night. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh Lord, deliver me and my entire household from every sin of the night. Pray that prayer. Oh Lord, deliver me and my entire household from every sin of the night. Deliver me, Lord, and my entire household from every sin of the night. Deliver me and my entire household from every sin of the night. Jesus, deliver me and my entire household from every sin of the night. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Prayer 9. Whoever and whatever that is claiming to be king in my life this night, except the king of kings, shall receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now listen to me. This is targeted to any, targeted to any strong man, demonic agent or woman, demonic agent that thinks that your life is in their hand. Just like Goliath fell and died, they are going to fall and die. In the name of Jesus. Now hear this. Whosoever and whatever that is claiming to be king in my life this night, 
except the king of kings shall receive the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. Begin to release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Anyone that thinks that he's king in my life, anyone that poses himself as God in my life, I release the fire of God against you. I release the fire of God against you. As Goliath came down flat, you are coming down flat. In the name of Jesus, any devil, any demonic agent that poses as God in my life, I release the fire of God against you. I release the fire of God against you. I release the fire of God against you. Regade Gada, Regade Gada, I release the fire of God against you. I release the fire of God against you in the name of Jesus. I release the fire of God against you. I release the fire of God against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Number 10. Oh Lord, open my eyes to see fresh revelations tonight as I sleep in Jesus' name. Open my eyes to see fresh revelations, fresh revelations tonight as I sleep in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and put that prayer. Oh Lord, open my eyes to see fresh revelations, fresh revelations as I sleep tonight. Open my eyes to see fresh revelations, fresh revelations. No more nightmares, no more bad dreams, no more pressing me in the sleep. Lord, open my eyes to see fresh revelations. Let me see the way forward. Let me see the solutions to my challenge. Show me, Lord. Appear to me tonight. Appear to me tonight. Let me see visions of heaven. Let me see Jesus Christ instructing me as I sleep tonight. Open my eyes to see fresh revelations from you. Fresh revelations from you. Fresh revelations from you. Fresh revelations from you. Open my eyes, Lord. Regada ma zozo brega. E rege dege de. Zozo matene. Rabadaya gado. Rekatalaya. In the name of Jesus. Open my eyes to see fresh revelations. Fresh revelations. In Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Now begin to appreciate the Lord for answered prayers. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. You alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are God. Lord, we thank you for answering our prayers. Father, we bless your name. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. In Jesus' great name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I'm happy because I know your testimony is sure in the name of Jesus. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you want your prayer life to be on fire, listen to me. Prayer is the source of power. When you hear that a Christian is powerful, it is prayer. It is prayer. It is prayer that makes a Christian powerful. Because every time you pray, forces, the forces of God are released to your benefit. So I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on all, all the social media networks you see on the screen that God has privileged us to be a blessing through. You follow us. Praise the Lord. And also, I want to encourage you to visit our website, everydayprayerguide.com. It is a fire for fire prayer website, sir. A fire for fire prayer website. A website that when you pray the prayers in need, your enemies will know that something has hit them. They will know. They will know. The largest fire for fire prayer website on the internet, everydayprayerguide.com. I encourage you to make it. Bookmark it. Let it be your companion, your spiritual companion. And we have hundreds of thousands of prayers on tens of thousands of topics. And every day, we keep adding more powerful prayers. Every month, we keep updating it with prayers. We keep updating it with prayers. We'll, as long as there is a need, we'll keep praying. As long as there is a need, we'll keep praying. So visit everydayprayerguide.com and you'll be glad you did in the name of Jesus. Also, for those of you, I know you like to get these prayers we just prayed now. I know you like to get them. Just visit the description section below this video. You see the description section. You see all the prayers. There are more than 10. I just picked 10 for the purpose of this video. There are more than 10. Pick them. Write them. Save them. And pray them. Pray them. Pray them with the same tenacity you see us pray now. And the devil will give up on you in the name of Jesus. I still remain your host, Pastor Ike Chibuchinidu from Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed. Your day is blessed in Jesus' great name. See you at the top. God bless you.